Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is April 2nd, 2024, and we now know what conditions Xabi wants in order for him to continue as Barcelona's manager. Also, PSG are after both Jules Kunde and Hector Four. And finally, Barcelona are tracking Ruben Amorim from Sport and CP. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. everyone welcome to the channel my name is Mo and before we begin with the news just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and drop a comment all of this helps this channel continue to grow also if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise make sure you hit the kit bag and if you are looking to place any sports bets make sure you head to bet us both links for kit bag and bet us are down below in the description now I'll begin with the news that we now know the conditions that Xabi Hernandez is requesting in case he does decide to continue as Barcelona's manager. Now, it's no secret that Jan Laporta and Rafa Juste both want to convince Xabi Hernandez to stay at the club. They both said so in their most recent interviews. However, there is disagreement within the club with their, where there are many strong voices who are opposed to this idea because they consider that Xabi Hernandez's chapter at Barcelona is over and that Barcelona should move forward. And of course, there is Hansi Flake who is continuing to wait for Barcelona because he knows that if Xabi does leave, that he could very highly likely become Barcelona's next manager. Now, Xabi is aware that both Laporta and Rafa Juste support him staying at the club. However, he is also aware that there are people within the club who are opposed to him staying. And as such, Xabi thinks that staying would be a bad idea because there is that disagreement and he will be more in favor of staying if there was at least some consensus within the club. But since there isn't, Xabi Hernandez continues with the idea that he will resign at the end of the season. Now, it's reported that if Xabi does decide to stay or consider staying, he does have a few conditions for the club. The first condition is money to make big signings, which of course the club does not have. Also, Xabi Hernandez would like two big signings. The first one being, of course, Martin Subimendi for the pivot position. Someone who Xabi Hernandez has always wanted on his team. And if not possible, then Joshua Kimmich from Bayern Munich. And the second request would be, or the second signing would be for Barcelona to sign a difference maker, which is, of course, Bernardo Silva from Manchester City, who when he renewed his contract with the, with the Premier League club, he did reserve a 50 million euro release clause that would allow Barcelona to sign him for that much. But again, the problem is there is no money or financial fair play to even afford a 50 million euro operation. So this means that the likelihood of Xavi Hernandez staying is very, very small because like I said, Xavi Hernandez would want consensus within the board, which right now does not exist unless Xavi Hernandez ends up winning the Champions League. He also would like money which there, for signings, which there isn't. And he would like the signings of Subimendi and Bernardo Silva, an operation that would cost Barcelona around 110, 120 million euros, which again, Barcelona does not have. So for now, it looks like Xavi Hernandez will not continue at Barcelona, but it is reported that a decision will be made by the club, an official decision after the PSG matches. I guess Laporta is sticking to his word and wants to make a final decision on regarding Xavi Hernandez's future uh, once he sees what happens with the team, which as I've said many times before, it's a big, big mistake because there's nothing to wait for. Xavi Hernandez has already made his decision to leave. So I think the club should take this seriously and start looking for a new candidate rather than waiting to see what happens with the team and waiting for the season to end because by then it could be too late. Now it is reported that there are some clubs in Europe who are considering signing Xavi Hernandez as their next coach in case he does decide or in case he does end up leaving Barcelona. Amongst them are Chelsea who have reportedly reached out to Xavi Hernandez's entourage to see whether he will be willing to discuss a possible position with the Premier League club. And there is also Ajax who are looking to rebuild their project or restart their project and are reportedly also considering Xavi as their next coach. In my opinion, I think that would be a great destination for Xavi because after all, Ajax is the birthplace of Cruyffism. 
Also, it's a team that doesn't have as high demands as a club like Barcelona. So maybe there will be a good place for Xavi Hernandez to continue learning, gaining experience, and who knows, maybe reach his full potential and become that great coach that we all hoped he would be when Barcelona signed him. And speaking of coaches, it's reported that Barcelona are currently tracking Sporting CP's coach, Ruben Amorim. Now, Ruben Amorim is currently doing really well in the Portuguese league. He's currently sitting at the top of the Portuguese league table. He is also in the semifinal of the Portuguese Cup. He is doing really well as a manager despite having a very short career. I think he's only been managing for four, maybe five seasons. And he has won a total of five titles with the possibility of adding two more during this season. And as such, it's reported that Barcelona are currently tracking Ruben Amorim's performance and tracking his career. Now, Ruben Amorim's agent is Jorge Mendes, so he does have a direct line to Barcelona, given that Mendes has a very close relationship with Jan Laporta. However, Barcelona are not considering Amorim for this upcoming season. He is not a top priority on Barcelona's list. Instead, Barcelona are tracking Amorim's career to see how he does because after all, when Barcelona first considered him, Deco said no, because even though Deco does like what Amorim is doing with Sporting CP, where he plays a very similar style to Barcelona, Deco believed that Ruben Amorim did not have enough experience to become Barcelona's next manager, and Barcelona agreed with Deco's assessment. So for now, Barcelona are tracking Ruben Amorim, but for the future, not for this upcoming season because they want to see how he continues growing, developing, how he does with more experience. And who knows, maybe down the road, Barcelona could seriously consider him for the coach's job. Now on to the news that PSG are reportedly interested in signing both Jules Koundé and Hector Four. Now we all know that PSG have learned their lesson that signing big stars does not equal success and as such they have hired Luis Enrique with the idea to start building a project from scratch and part of this project is to rebuild PSG's defense which is where they suffer a lot and it's reported that PSG have set their sights on both Hector Four and Jules Kunde. Now it's reported that PSG did send emissaries to the city of Barcelona's who met with emissaries from FC Barcelona. And during this meeting, PSG made it very clear to Barcelona that they're interested in signing both Hector Four and Jules Kunde. And it's reported that during this meeting, Barcelona representatives said to PSG that Hector Four is not up for grabs. He is not for sale. The Barcelona are not interested in discussing any offers for the 17-year-old the right back. However, when it came to Jules Kunde, it's reported that Barcelona said that they are open to hearing offers. Now, this is very interesting. It doesn't mean that Barcelona will end up offloading Jules Kunde. It just means that they are open to hearing offers, which is very, very interesting because it seems that Barcelona could be open to the idea of parting ways with the French defender who they signed a couple of seasons ago for around 60 million euros. And we'll be interested in what, to see what kind of offers Barcelona received from PSG. But I always, I do like to hear from you guys. What do you think Jules Kunde is worth? How much Barcelona should request for the French defender? Let me know down below. Now we will end today's video with an interesting bit of news. This one coming from Bojan Kerkic Sr. That is the father of Bojan Kerkic, La Masia graduate, the former Barcelona player and the current member of the Barcelona board. Bojan Kerkic Sr. was actually a former Barcelona scout as well and he is the friend of Erling Haaland's father and today he said that if it comes to picking between Barcelona and Real Madrid, the Erling Haaland would prioritize Barcelona. Now this, what Bo this is what Bojan Kerkic Sr. had to say. Haaland gives priority to Barca. If he had to choose between Barcelona and Madrid, he would go to Barcelona. Barcelona are recovering little by little. The club will return to Camp Nou and this will change a lot in terms of marketing and promotion. Then there will be investors who will come and there will be the sale of players. So Bojan Kirkis Sr. is saying that Haaland would prioritize Barcelona over Real Madrid and even if it's true or if it's not true, that does make sense. I don't see Haaland wanting to be 
on the same team as Kylian Mbappé since the two are going to be the references of football. They're going to be they're going to be the Messi versus Ronaldo or the new Messi versus Ronaldo. So I don't see Haaland wanting to be on the same team with Mbappé, especially if he hopes to win the Ballon d'Or. But then Bojan Kirkis Sr. saying that not only would Haaland prioritize Barcelona, but that this operation would be possible because Barcelona are set to return to the Camp Nou, which of course is going to generate a lot more money for Barcelona. He also says that with that, there's going to be more marketing money, more investor money. There's going to be the sale of players. So Bojan Kirkis Sr. saying that not only Haaland would prioritize Barcelona, but that this operation is possible in the future. As always, I do like to hear from you guys. What do you think about Bojan Kirkic Sr.'s word? Do you think Haaland would indeed choose Barcelona over Madrid? Do you think this operation is feasible in the future? Let me know down below. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below, giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club. FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, peace, Barca.